Hi, I'm Louise. Welcome to the Desk to Stretch video, a short video to get you up and moving in your day, ensuring you stay healthy as you work. Let's get moving. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth and just get yourself away from that desk, away from whatever you were doing. Okay, that, that'll be there when you get back and let's just breathe and just focus on you and what we're about to do, which is to stretch that body, wake up some of those muscles and just um, get rid of the stresses and strains that you might have. So focusing on that breathing, I then want you to roll down. Okay, so I'm gonna step away. <laughs> so find that neutral breastbone, pubic bone to line and you're going to roll down. So you're just mobilizing that back, especially if you've been sitting for a long period and not moved. Draw up through the centre and come back up, standing nice and tall and lengthen through the spine. Good. Try and get those glutes working as well and roll back down. So we're just going to do this three times, breathing out as you do so. Let the head hang, let the arms hang. Now pull your tummy button to your spine as you come back up because that supports your back. Stack that spine up, squeeze those glutes and stand nice and tall. And let's do it again one more time. So rolling down, let the head hang. So just get your back moving, if nothing else. Brilliant, good. And up, nice and tall. Good, so if you're near a desk, fantastic. If not, you can do this just by putting your hands on your bottom and doing exactly the same thing. But I'm just gonna stand near my desk, I have one handily, um, and I'm just gonna put my hands here. I hope you can see me well enough. So I'm going to squeeze my glutes and I'm going to draw my tummy button to my spine and then I'm going to lift my breastbone towards the ceiling and just take myself back. So I'm taking myself to the other way that you've probably been all morning and I'm just getting a nice extension but I don't want you to come forward too much so squeeze the glutes and try and get the movement in your back. Okay, everyone's going to be different and bring it back up. Hopefully that felt really nice, let's do it again. So we're going to take it back Squeeze those glutes, pull up in that centre, so tummy button to spine, if that's the easiest thing to do, and just take it back. Try not to let your hips come forward. Brilliant and relax. And hopefully that's already started to make you feel really nice, especially across that upper back. Good, well done. So from there, we're gonna take, I'm gonna turn away from you. I'm gonna take my arm across my body and I'm going to pull it across. So I'm just stretching out my shoulder, really nice one to do. So take it across and just stand tall and lower the armpits and just take it across. Brilliant. And then change and do the other side. So you're just getting a really nice shoulder stretch. And you could do this sitting down if you're sitting at your desk and you suddenly feel that your shoulders uh, are just like had enough, you're too tense or whatever. So it's a really nice one to do. Good, okay. From there, because I think it's too important not to do, we've just in classes been doing loads of shoulder work. So we're gonna take the shoulders to the ears. We're gonna lower those armpits and lengthen through the spine. So it's really important to focus on the armpits and to feel these muscles here working at the back around your shoulder blades. So we're taking it up, lowering the armpits and lengthening through the spine. You might wanna to just tuck your chin in slightly so you get a bit of a stretch as well. And again, take it up and lower it down. Brilliant. Good, one more. Excellent. Really nice, really, really nice. So it's really important. What I don't want you to do when you're doing that is to bring your shoulder blades back. That's not what we're doing. It's an up and down movement. This is what you're gonna focus on. This is where you'll feel it at the back if you're doing it properly. So hopefully that's starting. If you've been doing these regularly, that's starting to become normal. Um, and especially during the day when you get a bit stressed. Right, this was a request from uh, someone. So we're gonna take it into a tricep stretch. So we're gonna take the arm up and have it as fairly close to the body as you can. But again, if you've got shoulder problems, you'll, you can only go where you can. Now some people, I can't, can take it round here and grab hold of it. If you can do that, send me a picture, I'd love to see. In the other way, in the meantime, I'm just gonna push this back so that I get a really nice stretch down here into my triceps. So that's the back of the arm. Good, so enjoy that stretch. Excellent, and we'll do the other arm. So take it up, and if you can do it that way, I'm nowhere near. Maybe that's our challenge, that we try and get, uh, get ourselves into that position. 
and just have a stretch pulling it back brilliant and relax so all stretches hold for about 10 20 seconds depending on how they're feeling or how tight you are you can hold them for a lot longer let's get well okay so finally start not finally standing here we're going to circle the arms so breathing in reach up and breathe out so keeping those shoulders nice and mobile good so your body shouldn't be moving your glutes should be working your center should be working one more this way and then we're going to take it back the other way so taking it round brilliant good and again one more excellent and relax and just take the shoulders up again and lower them one more brilliant okay from here now i think you might like this one going back to your desk and you're going to put my hands on my desk and i'm going to push my bottom back so i'm, I'm sort of flat backed for the moment i'm going to take the other arm and i'm going to stretch through so i'm just going to follow it through so i'm getting a really nice stretch down my side it's like threading the needle okay so taking it there come back up change sides and take the other one through so you're following your hand through and it gets you depending on where you're tight or you need a stretch it gets you in all sorts of places so use the center hold back through that center tummy about the spine and take it through four and one more and again taking it this side excellent oh and don't forget to breathe as well oh good i hope you enjoyed that one excellent okay so from here we're going to take the arms down by our side again make sure you're standing in a neutral and you're just going to take the arms down to the side so as far as you can without twisting so imagine you she says checky imagine you are standing between two panes of glass and you're just going to take it down good and one more each side so just take it as far as you can but you have to use the glutes and you have to use here just to hold it and hold yourself upright take it down the other way and don't forget to breathe good okay from there we're going to do a neck stretch so we've done this before we're going to take our hands behind our head and we're going to take our chin to our chest okay so you might just get a stretch there then i want you to push your head up into your hands and just hold it for five seconds and relax and you should feel a nice stretch going down here so we're going to do that again taking it up pushing our head into our hands and relax and one more good and hopefully that feels really nice as well excellent so we're going to do a quick leg stretch because i think that we should probably include it all the time so these are just really simple ones. So you can stand by your desk, you can stand by a wall. You're just gonna push the heel to the ground, back leg straight, front leg bent, and push that heel down into the, um, the, the ground so that you feel that stretch at the back of the lower leg. Good, excellent. Staying in that leg, we're gonna bring the leg up in hand. You don't have to hold on. Okay, so again, it's a really good balance thing if you don't hold on. So you should feel the stretch at the front of the leg. Try and keep the legs together and try and keep it back so it's not on front and it's back here. And now if you get tight hamstrings, let's push these hips forward and you can just feel, this so she, just feel that stretch going on through there. Brilliant. Same leg, you're gonna take forwards. Okay, remember last week, if you've got a chair nearby, you can put it on there and you're just gonna push your bottom back so that you feel the stretch down here, okay? take your hands onto the bent leg brilliant good so let's turn around and do the other way so we're going to take the other leg back so I'm pushing that heel into the ground excellent then I'm going to bring that leg up in hand supporting knees slightly bit let's come back a bit sorry okay so push the hips forward if you want to increase that stretch and get into that hip flexor that's fine good keep the, keep the breath going and then take it down into a hamstring stretch to so push the bottom back good well done and we're just going to finish off with those roll downs again because hopefully you'll get a little bit further so standing nice and tall find your neutral rolling down breathing out as you roll down let the head hang draw up through that center 
See, that feels a lot easier. So now it's a really good proof of that if you move more, your body works better, which is kind of makes sense. But hopefully you can actually physically see the difference from just when you did these at the beginning of the 10 minutes or however long we've been doing it to now. One more. Brilliant. And then stand nice and tall. Excellent. Well, there you go. There's your desk to stretch. Do it a couple of times. Do it a couple of times this afternoon. Well done for getting up and moving. Don't forget you need to move every hour to have a healthy working day. So come and join me again for a desk to stretch video. See you soon.